Welcome to Testing Positive. This week in our Devo time, we have dug into the subject of what happens when we go through a test in our faith, when our emotions, when our physical bodies maybe are trialed, what do we do when those things take place? And we know some people, their lives are destroyed. But as a Christian, God has installed these positive things that happen as a result of coming through certain trials. And today I want to kind of dovetail what we, off of what we talked about yesterday as we look at this subject of When we are perishing, when we're struggling to make sense of our chaotic life that seems like it's bringing nothing but disappointment and even death, what do we do? He says in 2 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17, he talks about what happens in the midst of this trial. And he says, for this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all Comparison, as we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. This is one of my favorite passages in the New Testament. And the reason why is because he's sharing with us something that happens when we go through a trial, when we go through an affliction, when we go through a test that simply can't happen otherwise. And that is this. When we come through a test, we are given greater eternal appreciation. I don't know about you, but this season of COVID-19 and, you know, seeing loved ones going through uncertainty and seeing people in the church have this trauma about them, boy, I'll tell you what, it has made me truly long even more for heaven. I mean, really, it's really given me this perspective that, of course, I always, of course, I always longed for heaven. But when you see the world around you start to change, and when you see evil things taking place, and when you see disease happening, and when, when you see suffering happening, and when you see all the tension in our country right now, never before have I been more excited about the day when we can go home to glory. The greater the weight of the burden that you're bearing in this life is just as great as the weightlessness that we're going to feel in eternity. I mean, think about that. Some of you, you work two or three jobs. Some of you, 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 you've dealt with problems in your marriages and you've dealt with problems with your children. And some of you, 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 you have things that have come into your life, illnesses and pain and heartache that frankly you didn't cause. Well, the greater the darkness we experience, on this side of eternity, the greater we are going to appreciate the glories of heaven. Not because it's an absence of all of the things that we, the pain that we've had. No, no, no. It's because once we see how beautiful it is to dwell with Jesus, and once we understand truly, I mean truly what it's like to reign with God and live in a sinless place and be able to have no fear, no worry, no pain, no heartache, when that's all erased and you see God's goodness, we are going to appreciate it all the more knowing that we came through those trials. So I want to give you the opportunity now when you're in the middle of a test to take hold of the eternal appreciation that God gives us to say this world is terrible at most times. But right now, I know one thing is for sure. This world is not my home. This part of the story is not the end of the story. And the moment that I take my last breath on this earth, whether it be an expected time or an unexpected time, I know that the first breath that I take in eternity is going to be the greatest moment I ever experienced. Through trials, through testing, through heartache, God gives us the ability to have a greater appreciation for eternity.